Are you sure, Jude? <laughs> I couldn't help overhearing your plan with these perfect ears of mine. Isn't that... That idiot survived. Hit the showers, fraud. The curtain just closed on you. I'm the new star of the show now. Thanks, Ivor. I'll rest. I could use a breather. No, 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 no! This is all wrong. Now you're supposed to explode into a jealous rage. Uh. Okay, in that case, I'll take care of it. Ha! You think I'm just gonna let you play the hero? Gangway! You've gotten pretty good at handling him. Nah, that just kind of popped into my head. Well, he totally ignored Mila this time. Maybe he's obsessed with you now, Jude. But if he pulls his own weight, I have no complaint. Anyway, let's go. Go, Chipo! Staring is staring! Go! Finally. I have seized control of the ship. Drop your weapons and surrender. Ivor, set us down on the ground. What do you think I'm trying to do? Fly loop de loops? Uh, this button maybe? Uh, no? Hmm. This must be it. Idiot. What do you do this time? Hopeless as usual. Quite a predicament. Can you tell us anything about these things? Now's hardly the time to chat. You're under attack. Glad that's over. We'll take over from here. Gaius probably didn't need us after all. Are you unharmed? Yes, thanks to everyone but you. What? The ship is ours! <laughs> Let's return to the castle. Here, let me help you up.
How long until we can set sail? I have every available man working to get the ship's systems under control. It may take a few hours. Looks like we still have some time. Let's rest until then. I hear the pimple wants to be a nurse. Hmm? I bet it's because of that boy. S so what of it? Don't play innocent with me. It's obvious that Jude gets you all hot and bothered. <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. But you know, I have to admit my opinion of you has improved. Huh? Really? If you think with your heart instead of your brain, you'll end up killing some patient on accident. It'll be hilarious! You don't even care if your efforts end up killing people! That won't happen. Oh, that's right. That boy's got the hearts for Maxwell, the older woman. That means no loving for you! <laughs> Huh? Who's there? <laughs> Lame! Hey, good looking. Come here often. Think you can charm your way back into my life? You make me puke. Cut me some slack, will ya? After all, we finally get to fight side by side again. I'd sooner kill you. Easy there. Come on. It'll be just like old times. You expect me to forget how many of us died because of you? That's ancient history. I was captured too, you know. Do you have any idea what I went through? <sighs> I thought I'd found my place in the world by your side. Don't expect me to forgive and forget. Being tossed away once was enough. Pressa, I request your presence. I need your opinion on how to integrate the Rashigal soldiers into our own. Sure, I'll be right there. See? Your new friends need you. You found your place after all. Why are you standing out in the cold? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Maybe you should sit down and rest for a bit. Yes. Maybe this is simply fatigue. 
I'll take up your offer. Hmm? Feeling any better? Not really. But don't worry about it. Maybe if we just chat for a while, this will pass. Okay, sure. So, uh, what's the outside world like? Olympias. What do you wish to know? Well, stuff like the climate, how the people are, things like that. I don't really know. Huh. Is that strange? No, I just figured you'd know something. But it sounds like it's been some time since you've seen it. Well, I don't think it's a matter of memory. I simply just don't know. Hmm. Oh, don't worry about it. I was just curious, that's all. All I know is that Spyrex use is rampant on Olympias. Why would the people there rely on Spyrex instead of just using their manalopes? Using Spyrex is easier. No doubt the temptation was just too strong for them. I have a question for you too, actually. What is it? Do you... Um... Uh, how do I put this? You sure everything is okay? You're acting weird today. The ship is ready for departure. Please return to the castle. I guess we should head back. Ah! Muse, don't scare Jude like that. <laughs> Mila, may I speak with you in private for a moment? You two can catch up. I'll just wait back at the castle. What did you want to talk about? You must never forget that the safety of the schism depends on your survival. I understand. Wait. Is that it? Yes. I thought it best to remind you on the eve of a dangerous battle. Heed my words, and nothing will go wrong. Anyway, shall we go? Wait. You wish to ask me something? Lately, I often feel like my actions are fraught with contradiction. This has never happened before. Do you know the reason why? Do you mean you feel you're putting people in danger when it's your duty to protect them? <laughs> you're imagining things. Elder Sister knows best. Now let us go. This isn't just my imagination. How did I always ignore these things? It's clear that Maxwell's mission and my own actions contradict each other. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. How's Egg Principle? In that case, who am I? Mila, what are you doing? Aren't we heading to the castle? Yes. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hmm? That was quick. You could say that. The gang's all here. Let's go see Gaius. Hold on, everyone. Gaius and the others are taking this fight very seriously. We must make sure we are fully prepared. Yeah, good point.
Alice and Mila about Ivor. Why are you whispering? Because Ivor can hear a pin drop half a mile away. That's true. When he flew in on that wyvern, he was able to hear everything we said. So what is it? I wouldn't worry you two. It's the wyverns that have great hearing, not Ivor. They navigate by channeling wind spirits to bring them every noise within miles. They probably just told Ivor what they heard. Do you really think so? If your handmaid really had such good ears, don't you think you'd be a little less deaf to subtext? Oh! oh. So, what about Ivor? Huh? Oh, I was just going to ask why he's so deaf to subtext when he has such great ears. Ah, a popular topic, apparently. Giant lumps of metal soaring through the sky. Kind of terrifying, isn't it? You think so? I find